Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, the amount of hope, faith and yaqeen you have given me during this time can't be described. I hope <coughs> I get to thank you in person and show my gratitude in the next stage inshaAllah. Allah bless you, alhamdulillah. Just you, you make dua for us and Allah will send the reward. When the students are happy and they have hope and love in their heart that their love for Prophet will never let you down. Keep your connection with Sayyidina Muhammad Alhamdulillah if you're happy then you make a fatiha for the Shaykh soul that Allah take away sickness and difficulty so that he can continue the work that he has to do. For a day that comes when your shaykh is no longer available or no longer around it's very difficult. It's impossible to, to connect with someone else. It's just a, a immense void and emptiness. So anybody who enjoys the process, loves the process then pray. It's the most affordable support you can do, pray for the shaykh, pray for the shaykh's good health and, and to, to survive through difficulty and hasad. I mean hasad in is a hasad. It's so important that it was a, a difficulty that Allah put into the Qur'an its remedy because just hasad is, is such a difficult energy and just it blocks everything. They killed Imam Hussain as salam because of hasad. They couldn't take the fact that he's gathering people and they said, take by it with us. And as long as you're on this earth, you're a distraction to us. And uh, you know this, this, this system doesn't end. So Allah inshaAllah preserve and, and protect. And we're waiting for Sayyidina Mahdi as salam. And everyone has their role where they're supposed to be. So if everybody just sits where they're supposed to be, these things will be resolved. Means Allah has whom He wants in the West and Ishraqiyoon and they know their commands, they know their name, they know what their position is, they know what they're supposed to be doing. It's just, it's already under the government of Sayyidina Muhammad So wherever people are, open your hearts, keep the love, keep the ishq. Have hope for Allah's rahmah and mercy, have immense love and ishq for Sayyidina Muhammad and everything gonna be okay. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Wa alaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, how to differentiate shay shaitan inside us or shaitan from outside? Can shaitan inside us permanently go? We've been collecting badness over the years. Madad ya Sayyidi. Shaitan never goes. And that's why Prophet described that, Ya Rabbi don't leave me for a blink of an eye. What, what is the time within a blink of an eye? What type of fractional second is that? And Prophet <laughs> is, is giving. So we must be at least 10 million times more scared. So no it doesn't go but there are many practices to do that can safeguard us, right? So it starts with your first step. Before you think is Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, no. Bismillahir Rahmanir has no power for you if you didn't understand A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, right? So these, these big scholars say, whoa, 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 big knowledges they have, the Zahiri ones. Uh, that 
you know, they know Quran and Qirat and all these things. And they say, okay, well, this, if you have to say Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, you have to do like this. But ask, you know, before all of that can open and all of what you said to be true, shouldn't you have a firm understanding on A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem? Right, the exer- externals, they talk a lot about the Qur'an, a lot of this surah does this, this surah does all that true, alhamdulillah. But f- what is the key? The key of everything is, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. If you don't have an understanding of A'udhu Billah, what happens? Shaitan in you, out you and all over, all over you. What then you're going to do from Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem forward? Shaitan is then blocking everything of Allah's Rahmah. So awliya come and teach them within our hearts that, Ooh, what, what is it to seek refuge in Allah from shaitan the accursed? What is Allah's refuge? It's the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad If you're not doing salawats, you're not in refuge. If throughout your day you're not doing salawat and Nabi you're not anywhere near Bismillah rahman raheem from Surah Fatiha to end of Holy Qur'an, how is it going to dress you? Because you're still on in the battle with shaitan. So it means that the salawat, durood al sharif and understanding, I have to be in the refuge of Allah I have to be in the refuge of those whom are with Allah Nabi'een, Siddiqeen, Shuhada'i wa Salihin. <coughs> when Allah said, this is the best of company, I'm with them. So we have to be with Nabi'een and this love and ishq for Prophet and by making our durood al sharif it's our ticket to Medina. Before you get very luxurious first class tickets on, on Middle Eastern airlines and going for Umrah, Prophet made it very simple for us. Anyone want to go for Umrah right now, take out your tasbih, make duru the sharif on Prophet You'll be in Umrah all day long, it means you'll be with the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah will send your soul to give greetings to Prophet and that the Nur Muhammad will always be around you. Now what shaitan going to do? When shaitan tries to come you're going to have big problem. The shaitan on the outside not going to deal with it. Those whom do lots of durood al sharif outside shaitans are running. And when they do their durood al sharif and concentrate the entire durood al sharif illuminates from their heart inside and the inside shaitan is running. So I can't stay inside that person, it's hot. Then we talked about the three chairs. So go back to that talk on the three chairs and if you make the seat hot, shaitan won't sit there. But if it's a nice cold seat then he's going to be sitting all day long on that chair. So durood al sharif is our remedy, durood al sharif is our hajj and hijrah and umrah and everything. It gains access to the presence of Prophet and who's then in, in the presence of Prophet Allah is describing, I'm in the heart of my believer. So then you came and Allah said, enter the home through the correct door. So the house of Allah Ayatul Kareem when Allah say, enter the house through the correct door. They say, oh this is in reference to not coming through the window and going through here, going through there. But what's the most important home? The house of Allah So He's saying, come to my house through the correct door. The door to my presence is Muhammadun Rasulullah InshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah. Sayyidi, if we are listening to you, watching you daily, does that take out our illnesses more which are related with the soul? Example, anxiety, OCD, what should we do if yes? Yeah, as much as you're watching, you're trying to keep the presence. You do alhamdulillah wa shukranillah, you email help me at nurmuhammad.com and these are the remedies for anxieties to build faith. You know anxious is about the future. So make your salawats, make your zikr, do your meditation so that the faith and the light of faith enter. Then what do you have to worry about? Tomorrow you're dead, who cares? What are you anxious about? So the light of faith has to come into the heart and begin to 
take away the worry of tomorrow. Tomorrow is whatever Allah wants it to be. Tonight I'm good, I make my salawats, I did my, my ibadah, my worshipness, I have an immense love for Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad and nobody can come and tell me I'm this and that and this and that. I know my love and as a result of that love that Allah gave to me then I know His love for me. So we're good. Then depression, you're worrying about the past. Past is gone, it's like milk that's spilt, you can't do anything about it. Allah wrote that, forget about it, go forward. Don't live in the past, don't spend any energy in the past. So then what do you have? The shaykh's way is what? To live in right now. Tomorrow I don't know what comes for me but I know it's always great because Allah is involved. The past is finished, that was pretty good too because I got here. So I live right now for now, I do my zikr, feel the presence, feel the energy, I'm good. If you live every day with that type of pocket of energy, you should be very successful with Allah And if you're successful with Allah you're successful in everything, yeah. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, how can we stop being so self-destructive, madad? Practice is get the meditation book, do the muraqabah, do the meditation, make a connection. The destructive nature of people is when shaitan is their companion, right? When shaitan wants for people to be what? Isolated. That's why I said when we take Sirat al-Rahmah and the way of mercy, we're in the business of telling people they're going to paradise. Others seem to be in the business of, of shooing people towards hell. For what? Because as soon as you make a people to be isolated and cut off, that's all that shaitan wants for them. Cut off and now shaitan deals with the people and deals with the person until they cause a harm to themselves and other people. Rahman wants, no, no, keep together. Come together in the fellowship of muhabbat and ishq and love and as a result of coming together they become strong. So when you're sitting by yourself in home, you're not by yourself. You're watching the, the zikr, the awliya are in the room. You do your madad, you do your salawats, many awliya are in the room. You continuously play the durood al-sharif and dalal al-khirat within the homes. Then many angels and rijal, unseen servants of Allah are continuously in the home. Then you meditate, do muraqabah just a little bit every day and again you feel their presence, you feel the energy. So it means your environment becomes so powerful Shaitan doesn't have the ability to keep coming and whispering and making people anxious and depressed or sick or, or, or destructive. So you need a positive force to counter destructive force, inshaAllah. And if you have a chemical imbalance, take your medicine. When you know you have a sickness, don't think you're cured. That's again shaitan playing with you. Take your, your medicine, take the whatever you have, you, otherwise you, 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 you're, you're heedless, right? If you have a sugar problem, take your medicine. You don't keep saying, tomorrow I'm, sh I'm cured, why you're cured? Take your medicine so that you're, you're solid and straight, shaitan's not playing with you. So these are very important because everybody has a handicap from Allah Everybody has a difficulty and a broken wing so that you know, see how you're going to interact in your life with your broken wing. So if it just flies and is fluent in Arabic and does everything perfectly. You have a broken wing then you, you continue with your broken wing. So Allah says, who's better the one on this broken path? That he's, he's very sad with everything, everything seems to be broken or the one who's upright and happy even though the path may be difficult and broken. And that's what Allah is looking for in a servant that be strong, continue with everything. Take the meds you have to take, do the practices you have to do so that you're, you're all together and you're there inshaAllah so that you can participate. <coughs> As Salaamu Alaykum Mawlana Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. 
Can you please speak briefly again on compatibility of Islam, Tariqa, and the 12-step program? Better to try to immerse fully in Tariqa or seek the different help available for specific conditions? You just yeah, seek the, the, the path. There's a medicine for everything. So the 12-step program in the West, people in the… I don't know if people in the East have these things. In the West they have a system of 12 steps and associations for people who have addictions, whether it be alcohol, drugs, gambling, everything. And it's a fellowship of, of people whom have the same difficulty. So sometimes it's needed for people to sit with a fellowship of people that have a difficulty and understand they need to seek a remedy. If you studied their system you would understand it's actually Sufism and that awliya intervened and inspired these people take 12 steps, these are 12 darajats to the Divinely Presence. So you have to take an accounting of yourself, this muhasaba. It's all about muraqabah, it's all about taking an inventory and understanding. So we deal in the West, we know many people in those programs. So it's, it's very much tariqah teachings. You want to get the help from that system and then when you learn the tariqah you want to be in the zikr and the associations of zikr and the belief in, in higher levels of belief. Not just say a God of our understanding, that's good when you come as an entry level. It's not a God of our understanding or a higher power of our understanding, it's Allah So later on you need to be more defined, you do your spiritual practices and alhamdulillah and keep away from people whom are not like-minded. That's why this is the fellowship of the ring, this is the fellowship of those whom have a love for the Divinely Presence. And that's what the Allah Ahle Sunnah wa Jama means a fellowship. Keep the people whom have the respect for Sunnah and Nabi and they are Jama and Allah is with the Jama. Why? Because it's a fellowship. When people come together they feel stronger. When, the, when they're listening and they're part of the Jama they feel stronger. Shaitan then is, is having more difficulty breaking into the person and isolating them. So many people take our items, they have it at home and even when I'm at home I look and I remember the jama'ah. Yeah, that's all, what am I going to talk about? We're going to be broadcasting Thursday. <laughs> you feel it, you wear the sweatshirt, you have all of this, we feel like we're all together. We're in it together and enemies are coming from every direction and everybody feels like they're all in the same thing trying to defend it. Anybody who's shared our links understand exactly what we're talking about because they're the one emailing, oh Shaykh I shared this link and these people were attacking us like crazy. I said, that's exactly, that's our lives, 30 years we're doing this. We went through with our Shaykh. When we were with uh, Mawlana Shaykh Hisham when he was doing dawah, 72 books written of Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah but People were not appreciating that, they were cursing him, yelling at him from the tariqah. Because of what? Hasidin is a hasad. They're all this is so dangerous from the jealousy that has been created from these people of jealousy. Why? Because he created our creation so powerful. Remember we have 90 trillion volts. We look at things, energy is, is coming out. We, we have bad desire in our heart, energies come out. So even you wrote 72 books, people still fighting you, why you do like that? Tariqah is not like this, you showing off and uh, it was all… we did uh, probably 20, 15 years of that. 30 years we're in it, 15 years now we're here and 15 years before that of traveling was non-stop fighting, non-stop fighting and tariqah fighting. And the people whom fought, they were the most ignorant people we ever came across, why? Because they wouldn't read. They wouldn't get any knowledge. So then when you would travel and you'd come across these people who were the haters, those were the same people who were a, as ignorant as a billy goat. They knew nothing, nothing from the realities. Did you even make any salawats? No. Do you listen to any salawats? No. Do you know any of these haqqaiqs? No. So that, that flavor was specifically from Mawlana Shaykh Hisham and that's what we taught. And that's what we still taught is we're an inheritor from him. So the people who didn't like it, by the way they were ignorant and they stayed ignorant. 
And that's what the shaitan wanted, right? The tariqah didn't want that, the shaykhs didn't want that, Mawlana shaykh didn't want that, but the nafs of people wanted that. And that's the danger when shaitan make you to come against uh, Muhammadan haqqaiqs, a fountain that flowing from the heart of Prophet you kick it, spit on it and, and hit it, there's going to be problems with that. It's not just any, th- any type of teaching. These are teachings about Muhammadan haqqaiqs and the love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad It's not something small. Everybody's going to be held accountable to how they treated it, how they understood it. And those who didn't understand it, well Allah didn't give to eat from that reality. They'll have their own difficulties in, in a very short time that's coming, right? We told everybody, oh there would be a day when people would want taweezes. Well, we ship taweezes around the world, around the world, why? Because Allah wants them to be protected. Had it not been for that system, well, how would they get taweezes? How, how, how would they put in their car, their homes and, and everything around them? And that's why I said everything became very apparent in COVID. When they did lockdowns and uh, all, all the people against technology, they couldn't reach anyone. But we were still broadcasting and broadcasted even stronger and then all of a sudden everybody was tuning in for their coordinates. Exactly what we told people would happen. Get your coordinates, don't fear, don't go running towards Dajjal thinking he's going to save you and give you longer life. Put your taweez on, don't worry about this stuff, it's none of it is true. Take these vitamins, take these uh, ivermectin and, and anti-parasite, this is a parasite attack. That these shaitans that are coming they're parasitical and they're going to overtake people's systems. So all, all the tariqah was guiding. Now regardless of whose opinion, doesn't matter. It did a job, the job it has to do and it's like a bullet train moving. So same for now, if they don't have this love and knowledge of this love for Prophet they'll be the first ones in the front row of Dajjal. That just not coming with one eye and two horns, right? That you wake up at night, oh I'm scared to death I was Dajjal. It's going to be somebody talking about Allah. And he talks, you're going to cry, wow it's amazing. But you're going to listen and if you've been taught by us, he's not mentioning Prophet at all. And he'll say, don't mention, don't make rifts with us, let's all come to one. We believe only in the oneness of God. So no, 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 that's not one because he's going to say that. And he's going to call people like the guy who calls the rats to their death, the Pied Piper. And then he's going to later tell them after he tricked them all, actually I am God. At that time it's too late for you, what are you going to say? So no, this is already a warning, they know the system, he's not coming to surprise us, he's coming to surprise other people. We work for Sayyidina Mahdi inshaAllah through our spiritual heart. So. Doesn't matter. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, how do we learn to be merciful to those who oppressed, were envious, and acted abusively to us? Oh, you got one of those questions oh, in again? <laughs> Subcontinent. <laughs> they want to beat their relatives, beat their husbands, as the <laughs> people. Be loving, there's no how to. They came to Prophet and he was being kind to children and a man came and said, oh, I don't understand what's this, how to be kind to children, I don't have that within me. And Prophet was very disappointed that whom Allah didn't give rahmah and mercy. I mean this type of question you have, if you don't have mercy and rahmah in your heart, there's nothing that I can do for you. Means it's not a liked question. To, to say, how can I have mercy? It's in the heart of everyone, so it's called forgiveness. And, and those whom their character is bad, so I, I have people, their character is very bad, so my mercy is I stay away from them. I don't go sit next to them while they're insulting me and doing all the crazy things they want to do. My mercy is actually I stay away from them so that they don't become cursed and I keep having to be near these people. 
So that's a mercy, I stay away from people that are aggressive and obnoxious. So mercy is in everybody's heart. You forgive and say, I don't want anything to do with that person anymore. Not that I have to go sit there and keep they do a, abuse and then Allah are going to punish them and no, just keep away. Say, peace be upon you and go your way. So mercy is, is something everyone should know. You know, if somebody bothered you and you love them, you don't have to go and beat them, you just uh, forgive them and there's something wrong with them. So there's the mercy is, is has to be within the heart and in the, the being of somebody. And mercy has many different understandings and ways. So one mercy is stay away from people. And that's all the talks we've been giving is that be with people whom are good, stay away from other people whom are questionable. That in itself is a mercy. If I keep taking myself somewhere where they're going to be saying bad things and Allah's going to be punishing them, that would be kind of cruel. I find all my relatives that don't like me and I just sit there quiet while they say all sorts of obnoxious things and all those start to punish them. So mercy for me is I don't go. So yeah mercy comes in many fashions inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Wa Alaykum As Salaam wa Sayyidi, I took off the taweez to feel the difference and it felt harder to breathe. What is the reality and what is within them? Forgive my curiosity. It's called belief. <laughs> Definitely don't watch the anti taweez Wahhabi people because they work for shaitan. They, they're very fearful of the power of faith. So when Allah was going to bring a punishment upon the nation of Sayyidina Musa salam, said that, mark your door for the angels of death are coming, they're going to bring now azab. Take the, the nazr that you did, the goat that you sacrificed, take that blood, mark your door. This became their misbah which they put their holy book and they mark it at the door of their homes. Now the reality, don't angels already know who's inside the house, who's been good, who's been bad? Yeah. Why then Allah gives these orders is He wants you to know what your belief is. If it, was, if it was up to Allah, He said, I would have made you and killed you all, judged you in the next day, it would have been finished. But this is the process and test for us to know what we have, not Allah to know what we have. The angels know exactly who's in the home, what they believe, what they do. But they needed to show Sayyidina Musa salam, we believe in you and we believe in you, we love you and here you go, put the thing. And that's all that Allah wanted to show, they're with you. And then the ones whom not, it was very clear, we're not with you, there's no thing, we don't need this type of stuff. And the angel said, take them, get them out of there, we just, it's like uh, trimming the bush. You know the tree, you have to prune the branches and all I want to show, these people look like you have a lot of branches but uh, many of them are not needed. Let's sort of start cutting. This is what we call imtahan and tests in tariqah. You know the test is not for me and the test is not for Allah but it's test for the students, Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu, amanu. All you who believe at every moment Allah is going to make the belief higher, higher, higher because what we are about to go and walk through is fire. If you're not with us better run now. It means every, every step we're going in more, more, more because the fire is coming. And if you're with us then let's go, if you're not run now, find yourself a, a different protection. So that's why imtahan comes in our life. So the taweez, what is it? They look at us, oh this is nothing, what's mystical magical about this paper? No the magic is called faith of which they have none. So how could you know, you know? That's why he said the healers were coming and in, in, into a village and they were giving everybody the uh, medical healers, they were giving everybody medicine, here's a prescription, here's your pills, here's a prescription, here's your pills. And the town was lining up to take the prescriptions of the doctors without borders in an African village. From a distance come a Sufi, crippling, crippling, coming up, coming up, he grabs his nusqa, his prescription, he's so excited he goes home. Then they come back and later they're interviewing everybody, you got to your medicine, you got your medicine. Then they ask that man, do you take your medicine? He said, what medicine? He said, this pill we say, oh it was fantastic, it was so miraculous. <laughs> I put it in water, I drink, 
it and I'm cured. <laughs> the doctor said, well, <laughs> what's that? You were supposed to go get, take this paper, go get your pills and, and get cured. But faith is, is in Allah that through a means Allah gives us an ability to be tested in our faith. He took just merely the prescription is that Allah sent a rahmah and a mercy for me. It was his faith, not the doctor had anything. It was his faith that he took it and the system of these taweezes for healing is if they write it with a special ink or they write it with saffron, the, these du'as, they would put them in water and drink it. It would be shifa and healing for them. Put Surat Yaseen onto your body if you're sick, it'd be a healing for you. Put our taweez shirt, the taweez shirt is supposed to be a healing and a protection. You wear it, it's not that I wear it with my go out into the world and go into facilities. It's to be worn under your clothes as a protection for you. People who have children or people who don't want a taweez all night long around their neck, they wear the taweez shirt. These are healings and protections. This was traditional faith in Islam. That's why the Erdogan, they show that in the show. The shaykhs would give these, sh these shirts. So that they would wear them as a protection and armor against difficulty. You get that, put it aside. If you don't think you need protection now, when the internet comes, you, at least you should be able to write your own taweez then. If you don't, to have these taweezes set aside. And this is called traditional healing, this is called faith in which Allah provides the cure for us. He's happy to see these people believe. Based on their belief, I will send the remedy for them. Everything is with Allah We are people that have worshipped none but Allah What the Husseini recites, Bi juz khutaman na parastam, I have never worshipped anything but Allah That these practices is the perfection of the worshipness in Allah because of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad because Allah wants to see Muhammadiyoon. Don't want to see me and you. He wants to know why you're not Muhammadiyun, the one whom I love, Khuluqul Adheem, the one who I, I, I gave my hope and my love and made to be my Habibullah. That's the path is they were trying to be dressed by the Muhammadan character, the Muhammadan fragrance, the Muhammadan love. So when Allah looks at us, He sees Nur Muhammad Based on that he said, I never will punish that light. How he could punish that light that has that type of ishq and love? Based on that he's hungry, I will send him sustenance. Based on that he's sick, I will heal him. Because his love for Prophet he looks to that light and every rahmah, every uh, madad, every yansurukullahu nasran aziza, Allah says, anything come toward you I will demolish them. I will be the support because you are Muhammadiyun in your appearance, in your love, your heart, your soul and your, your being. This is what saves us inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salaman al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.